Good morning and welcome to a very windy but quite sunny Blackpool Promenade where we're back and this time we're going inside Blackpool Pleasure Beach. It's time for another adventure with me and Charlotte. Yeah. So yes, are you looking forward to getting back in? I'm so excited to get back on Icon. This is it, Icon is our favourite roller coaster here in the UK. We can't wait to get back on it. Along with that, we're going to check out all the different changes here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Uh, I'm going to be talking about all the different changes, what they've made in terms of with wristbands and the entrance procedure, we'll look at social distancing, how they're cleaning down the rides, and just the general operation here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Um, obviously with today's high winds, it's pretty unlikely that we're going to get to ride the big one today, but we'll get to see all the key line set up and see how that looks from off ride uh, around the station area and along with that we'll just give you all the updates on the park and keep you updated for if you're going to be coming down here to Blackpool Pleasure Beach in the coming weeks months and possibly the rest of the season so you've got a bit of an idea um, on how social distancing is going to work but yeah we'll try our best with the wind today it is a windy morning isn't it it's windy <laughs> also I've got my theme park all wine mask on but Charlotte over here no figment today she's got her icon mask on yeah it's on here so Look at that, so we have that custom made as well. It's not one of the park official ones, but we'll check out those and have a look in the shop today as well. But we'll make our way over to the entrance. I must say for about 20 minutes before opening, Blackpool Promenade so is quiet. absolutely empty. So I think we're looking at a pretty quiet day today, uh, but at least the sun's shining. I'd rather uh, have the wind and the sun out, I think, than it be chucking it down with rain all day. Um, but we'll make our way over to the entrance and welcome to our vlog from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Right then, so what Pleasure Beach are actually doing is holding us just out here. As we can see, they've got a queue line set up on the car park. Here she is. Yeah. <laughs> you excited? Yes. Honestly, I can't wait to get back on Icon. Of course, we're going to head straight down there first and uh, hopefully get on Icon this morning. Um, but yeah, this is the set of what they've got going on. Loads of social distancing. It's quite good, really, because obviously they've put this on the car park. They've got all the, the lines here anyway. So people, yeah, people kind of be staying in their own little car park space, really. Uh, but yeah, quite a good setup. They've also got a similar um, setup going on the little entrance plaza as well. And um, we'll head around there shortly. I imagine because there's people around there now, um, they've wanted to just hold people a little bit further back here just to avoid it getting too crowded down on the entrance plaza. But uh, yeah, they've got a good setup here. Everyone's following social distancing. Of course, with Pleasure Beach at the moment, um, everybody does need to book a ticket, much like all of these theme parks at the moment. You do need to pre-book a ticket. And also as well, um, there isn't such thing now as you've been able to come in and just experience that walking around. You do need to have um, a pre-book ticket, which allows you to go on all the different rides. They've got rid of the wristband system. So it's going to be different for us, isn't it? Really different. Like, e even as season pass holders, we, we have normally a have a wristband. We have to go into the, the big casino building, which we can see just here, and we collect a wristband. Um, and we don't have to do that today. We've had to register using a, an annual pass sort of yeah. portal, which has been really well organized actually. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like we, it's going to be different not actually scanning wristbands. Yeah. So, I mean, are the turnstiles still going to be there? Are we still going to walk through them? Who knows? Like, I'm looking forward to seeing it all. But uh, of course, it's the second day of operation since the park reopened um, after being closed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. So we'll, uh, yeah, keep you updated as we make our way down towards the entrance. Okay then, so the flood has moved a little bit further forward. As you can see, you've got some big signage just here, all about safety at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, which is certainly great to see. We've also got plenty of staff about, all organised, wearing masks, uh, and also telling us the situation uh, about what we can expect inside the park as well. So, making our way down now towards the entrance area. Of course, normally this would all be open up, sort of a free-for-all sort of area, uh, but of course they're slowly making us way down to the uh, entrance area, which is good really, it's keeping it nice and spread out and all the crowds organized but uh yeah just to stop the plaza overflowing similar system to alton towers yeah, in a way like lane systems which is sim similar it is yeah a similar system except instead of having like five lanes further back they've just done it a bit closer here but this member of staff now is advising us which lane to go in and um, for our security check as we make our way into the park so we'll see when we get inside Right then, so we've made it into the park. Normal security check as always. No temperature checks here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach today. And uh, yeah, in terms of the entrance procedure, it's relatively okay. I mean, you had a few issues scanning your ticket. Yeah, but that's probably just me. Yeah, <laughs> probably just on your phone screen. But you know, mine went through uh, straight away and you soon got it sorted out. But we're in. Quite impressed with the entrance procedures, really. Yeah. Um, you know, I think it was very, very similar to Alton Towers in the fact they've got people in lanes um, to come in that way. And of course, it keeps people spread about. So, of course, you know, our favorite ride here is Icon. We love Icon to bits, don't we? So we're gonna make our way down towards Icon. We're looking forward to getting back on it. And of course, seeing all the different social distancing measures that have been put into place by Blackpool Pleasure Beach. 
And uh, yeah, already we can see markers around the floor. I mean, such as over here, you've got some of the, please stand behind the yellow line markers. I mentioned this when we did our Back in Blackpool vlog uh, just over a week ago now, where I came down here and had a walk around and saw everything that was going on. Um, but yeah, we've also got one-way systems in operation, such as this one. As we can see, it's saying keep left. You've got all the markers in place. Um, so yeah, you know, they've really thought about stuff here at Pleasure Beach. And I don't think it's going to be a really busy day today. Of course, it is a capped capacity. Oh, I love this sign. Be patient, be kind, and have fun. There we go. That should apply to everybody out there. That is really, really nice. I love that sign. Fantastic stuff. I tell you what, though, it does feel a bit weird being at Blackpool Pleasure Beach and not having a wristband around my arm just here. Like, it feels weird, doesn't it? It does. Oh, Krusty's tested. Oh, so is Icon. There we go. Oh, yeah. Love it. So we're going to make our way down there now towards Icon. Yes, looking forward to getting back on it. Of course, this isn't the start of the 2020 season here at Pleasure Beach. In fact, we had quite a few visits earlier this year. The park opened back in February. But the good thing is we're going to be in this park, hopefully, until December this year. Um, of course, with everything that's going on in the world with COVID-19, that is still subject to change. However, the park at the moment are hoping and have advertised that they're going to be opening into December. So we can't wait for winter weekends here at Pleasure Beach. It's going to be fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, I've just an icon. And Krusty's testing for you there as well. Bit of Krusty. <laughs> be patient, be kind and have fun. Love that. And we've got a good system in place. You know, keep to the left. And then you've got on the right, of course, um, it's going to be a lot better for when it is busier. I mean, at the moment, this path is absolutely empty, so there's no um, issues with that. But yeah, really nice and clear with all the signposts. Take me to Icon. Oh, and there she goes. I tell you what, it's great to see Icon, our favorite roller coaster here in the UK, back in action. Of course, running test cycles at the moment. Can't wait to get on it, Charlotte. So, so, so excited. In terms of social distancing markers in Icon's queue line, as you can see, you've got these boards down at the side with the logo on there in red, the Icon dagger. And they're all the way down the side of the queue line here with social distancing. Really like how that's on theme. Like, that's a nice little thing what they've done. No audio or mist on at the moment. I'm not too sure if we're going to get the mist in action today with everything going on. But it is testing what looks to be three trains. So that's a, a good sign. I believe yesterday for the first day it was on three trains. Um, so yeah, we'll see what, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. But yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back on it. Hopefully we'll get that soundtrack on soon and we can have a bit of a rave to our icon music. We love it, don't we? It's fantastic. But uh, yeah, can't wait to get back on icon. We'll uh, hopefully be getting on there shortly on three trains. It'll be interesting to see how the social distancing is going to be. Normally from this point, um, this far back in the queue on three trains, it'll probably take about 15 to 20 minutes. So it'll be really interesting just to see how long we're going to wait. has come out the music has turned on and the ride has finished testing icon is open so here we go we're making our way down towards the station and it'll soon be time to ride icon here at blackpool pleasure beach for the first time for us since march this year i know it's only been a few months and uh, but you know we've missed this ride so much we really have the music's pumping icon everybody this is it are you excited We'll see you when we come off. Here's some off-ride footage and also some footage you're in the station. Icon, everybody. Get that hand sanitizer on. There we go. Awesome. Let's go. station just worth pointing out the front row queue has now disappeared of course you had the uh, barriers all down the side you can still see the holes in the floor actually where that used to be but yeah the front row queue for icon of course has now gone we'll see you when we come off
I tell you what, it was absolutely amazing to get back on Icon. Wasn't she running well? Oh, running so good. Absolutely brilliant. So that was pretty much a mid-train ride that we had as well. And I tell you what, it was running great, wasn't it? Yeah, really good. Absolutely brilliant. We said this yesterday at Alton Towers, but going on these rides makes us realise actually our bodies aren't used to used going to through them. these intense coasters again. Yeah. And I know a lot of people are thinking Icon's not really that intense, and I've said it myself before, in certain places it's not. However, because our bodies aren't used to going back on yeah, these rides, we're, we're feeling to it them. today. We are feeling it. Either that or it's because we're about three months older than we were before. Yeah. I'm not too sure. But uh, no, Icon was running great. This is the operation, hand sanitizer um, at the start of the ride before you get on. In terms of the rows, they're loading every single row um, on there as well. And along with that as well, in terms of the baggage hold, it's not moving anymore. It's just a single sort of baggage hold with that. I imagine that's just to do with the cleaning regimes and that sort of stuff. Obviously, we'll see what happens with the cleaning later. Obviously, yeah. it's just open now. So we'll see what happens in terms of them shutting the ride for cleaning and that sort of stuff. Uh, we'll either see that on other rides or back on Icon later. Uh, but in general, it was really good, fast operations. Yeah, really. To be honest, they're getting the trains out there really? nearly as quick as they would be normally. They're not messing about on there. Of course, the staff have got all the protective gear on as well. Um, it's pretty much normal operations on Icon, right? Uh, which is really interesting to see. They're getting them trains out um, as, as they should be, really. It's fantastic. I'm really, really impressed with what we've seen there in terms of the social distancing um, and everything as well. So onwards and upwards, let's go and do some more rides. Like we say, we're not expecting the big one today. Uh, I don't think it will because of the wind. As much as it looks quite sunny in some of the shops and stuff, and uh, it is windy today, so I'm not expecting the big one. But plenty of other rides to get on. So let's go around and see some more of the park. Icon, everybody. Right there, and up next it's time to ride Steeplechase. And as we can see, they've got a bit of an extended queue line down here. Please stand behind the yellow line, the iconic Pleasure Beach catchphrase. We can see a little bit over there of the big one's queue structure as well, but we'll have another look at that when we come off. But let's just straight through the turnstile, and we're going on Steeplechase, so we'll uh, see you when we come off. So as we can see, we mentioned just about cleaning procedures, and we can see that taking place now here on Steeplechase. Got all three tracks open, but at the moment they've just done an announcement saying that they are cleaning down the ride, and then we'll be back in action again soon. on steeplechase i beat you you were the winner all Yay. three tracks in action though on there and like we said we saw the cleaning taking place took maybe five minutes would you yeah, say too long at all. yeah about five minutes or so obviously that will vary depending on the ride but uh, yeah it's good to see that they're doing it just a little look down here now at the front of the big one. Of course, you've got all this queue line what they put out here. It is closed due to the high winds today at the moment. You never know, that may change later, but I'm not expecting that today with um, how high the winds were this morning when we were walking in. But yeah, you have got all this extended queue line they put out, all of the please stand behind the yellow line markers and all the Harris fencing that sort of extends up into the normal queue line as well. So I've really thought about it. Like I said, I don't think we're going to see this in action today, but um, you know, onwards and upwards, Charlotte. Let's go and do some more rides, shall we? Sorry, now I'm going to walk around Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Right, next up then, time for a ride on Revolution. They've got these boards out the front of all the different rides, giving you the information about the floor markings, all the different restrictions, and of course about the face masks that are required on quite a lot of the rides as well here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. So again, all the markers and the key line makes its way down. Oh, are you going on? Or are you coming on with me? Uh, your daily ride you don't normally go on it daily <laughs> yeah we're going on revolution so we'll see you when we come off
my hair, it's going absolutely everywhere. I am having it cut later this week, so don't worry. All the vlogs from this point, it's not just gonna keep getting longer and longer. We'll do the next few days, but I am having it cut before our big Europe trip. Just been on Revolution, really enjoyed getting back on there. It's not Charlotte's favorite though, is it? I hate it. <laughs> She's not a big fan, but we, you know, we went on. I said, oh, you know, let's go on. Uh, we'll be sat, you know, one row behind each other, but we wasn't, were we? Um, <laughs> you know, we had to split up on the trains. So uh, obviously I was on the train in front, and then obviously Charlotte then, uh, yeah, Charlotte got a front row. So I ran down, and in that footage you've just seen, um, I was actually down there getting some footage of Charlotte while she was on the ride. So if you go back on the vlog clip, and you'll uh, see her in action there going round on Revolution. Uh, anyway, we've just been out of the park to have some lunch, haven't we? Yeah. Put my glasses on for a little bit. A lot of people have been giving me tips on how to try and keep my glasses on and a mask. And I've tried a few different things, but you know, like, yeah, it doesn't seem to be working. They're steaming up quite a bit, so I'll probably take them off again shortly. But I'm probably going to need to because we're going on the Grand National next. Oh, yeah. Um, so yeah, let's go have a ride on the Grand National, our first wooden roller coaster of the day. So let's go and see what the operation's like around here. This gives you a good idea on crowd levels today here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Quite a few people here, but it's not too busy at all. I mean, yes, it's completely restricted on how many are coming into the park at the moment, of course, so they can maintain that social distancing. But yeah, you can see on the big plaza area here, um, up at FY4, you know, crowds are relatively low. But you might be thinking, if we're going on Grand National, why are we walking up this way? Well, this is because the entrance has moved. It's now here. So as you can see, you've got the restrictions board. And the queue line for Grand National now extends all the way around the side here and over there towards the station. Again, just so they can allow for that social distancing. So you get a nice walk along this grass just here, uh, all this fake grass, a little look at the back of Alice in Wonderland and uh, over towards Grand National down this way. So also, just thought I'd point out these markers, what they've got down the side here as well. Obviously here on the grass, they couldn't actually put anything on here um, to stick to it or spray on it with paint because it wouldn't come off. So they've put these yellow markers just on the side to keep the distance and you can see that all across the side. And of course, as we make our way back onto the pathway just here, you've got the markers, please stand please behind the yellow stand line. <laughs> and you can probably hear it in the background. That's like the classic Blackpool noise. You can actually hear it um, in the background, them classic announcements at the park. Um, but yeah, it's all very well thought out. And like I say, queuing around the side just here, just to avoid everybody sort of queuing up there in the station. Because you look at that, normally it's full of people. Uh, it sort of goes up and down a couple of times for each side of the Grand National. So with this, I was really thought about the overall setup, just so there's not too many people up there. Um, all standing together and people can spread out around this way. I actually prefer this setup anyway, to be honest. Yeah, you're in yeah, I'd really like to see them just put a proper queue line in round here for the Grand National. You never know, it might happen in the future, but I think it's a lot better than having everybody all standing together up there, uh, in my opinion. But we'll go on the Grand National and we'll see you when we come off. Here's a bit of off-ride footage. in the row quite permanent changes actually with what they've done with blocking the rows off they've actually put like proper metal bars in place to block the rows off and um, which is certainly interesting showing that these changes are for the foreseeable future until things change um, with of course COVID-19 um, but yeah in terms of the ride it was very very rough it, I didn't particularly enjoy it I'll be honest with that one don't get me wrong it's good to get back on a good classic wooden coaster but it is getting very very rough like yeah yeah it's not enjoyable as much for me anymore as what it has been in the past but it was good to get back on it um, anyway nonetheless but in terms of other changes when we all came back in at the 
end uh, into the station. Of course, whichever side came in first got off, and then the, the losers on there actually waited yeah, for the other side to get off. So, um, you know, just of course helping with that social distancing. They were doing a similar thing at Alton Towers actually to that yesterday. Uh, I just thought I'd mention Valhalla. We're going into Kiss Me Quick shortly, the gift shop. But whilst we're here, we start to mention about Valhalla, of course. We know that the ride was going to be closed all throughout this year uh, for a refurbishment and set to reopen in 2021. I've had a lot of comments with people asking me, Sean, do you think that with everything that's gone on, is Val Valhalla going to reopen uh, next year or will it be pushed back even more? We don't know at the moment, but from looking at the signage, it still says opening 2021. You've got to think, depending on how much work they wanted to do inside there, um, the fact the construction sites resumed, what, about a month ago maybe? Uh, there could still be time for them to actually get what they wanted done for next year. Whether that's for the start of next season or next summer, um, I still think there could be a potential of it opening next year. I'd like to think so anyway, um, especially with the amount of work that they want to do in there. Um, you know, it all depends on that, doesn't it? Yes, it might take longer, uh, but in general, I'm still feeling that it is going to open in 2021. And I do think if the park didn't think that, they would have just covered over them signs straight away. But as far as we know, still open in 2021, but I don't think any work, of course, has been going on during the pandemic um, you know a lot of construction sites were shut down but who knows you know it's July now start of July even if they don't open it until summer 2021 um, I still think that is something what is possible at the moment but anyway let's go and have a little walk through Kiss Me Quick the main gift shop underneath the flying machines right then so at the entrance to the shop they are actually running a one-way system and also please use the hand sanitizer that's provided just here as well so here we go you've also got some signage here stay healthy i do like how positive all the signage is i mean you've got enjoy your day we saw them other ones earlier with some really positive messages now uh, but yeah i do really like what they're doing with that and uh, let's have a look around they don't really know if there's going to be much in terms of new merchandise or not but what have we got charlotte what have we got t-shirts new for the ship oh there we go yeah we can see Quite that up the, at the top just there yeah you've got the uh, got the train on there got the hoodie just off to the side as well yeah they're nice because it's got the classic color scheme as well with the blue yellow and red really like that of course you've got all the resins and teddy bears and these are, were new for this year i think i don't know if we had saw these earlier in the year or not i'm not a big fan but you've got the icon um teddies at the bottom there and of course the valhalla ones do quite like the valhalla one actually um but yeah you know I, I wouldn't it's not something that i would buy um however you know i can see why some people may want to purchase something like that of course all sorts of different key rings magnets all that sort of stuff i like all the classic stuff at pleasure beach like your fun shine that's starting to come back and have a lunch of course trying our best not to touch things as we're making our way around the shop even though we put hand sanitizer on want to make sure we're not touching things unnecessarily whilst we're walking around all your different mugs like i say because pleasure beach season started back in february this year we've already had multiple visits here and filmed a couple of videos but uh, pleasure beach were actually kind enough to send me some merchandise a couple of months back and i did a video all about it one of the things they sent me was this big valhalla tankard and i absolutely love that it's probably my favorite piece of merch they've ever released here at pleasure beach and that is fantastic carry on walking down this way so yeah the one-way system as we can see is working pretty well really it's not that busy in here at all the whole park's not that busy to be honest it's um, being dealt with uh, really well of course this would normally be the exit to flying machines much like the big one they are closed um, today due to the high winds carry on around this way anything else new what you can spot around here charlotte nothing new but some of your generic stuff i still like the revolution stuff i'm sure i say this in every vlog but i do like the revolution cab and I like the t-shirt. Um, yeah, I do really like them. I quite like the branding for Infusion. I don't like the ride, but I quite like the branding, like what they've done with the mugs and stuff. Um, obviously, Avalanche is a big sort of winter range, really, of course, with all this. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Especially for winter, with all the range, lots of stuff going on down there for uh, Avalanche. But in general, not loads of new stuff compared to what we've seen earlier in the year. But if you want to see some of that stuff, what Pleasure Beach sent me, check out the video that's online here on the channel. Just looking about as well, and just seeing what we've got in terms of the ride parts over here as well. We've got loads of masks as well. Yes, we've got all the different different masks have we down here. I tell you what, I love the Funshine ones. 5 95 for your masks. I'm not too keen on the Icon ones, but I do like the Funshine ones. And there's a, a large Funshine one somewhere where, obviously this one's got all the um, just smaller faces on, but there's one with a, a, a big yellow Funshine on. Uh, but it looks like they've sold loads of these, doesn't it? Not loads down there. But, yeah, we've seen it going around. What are your thoughts on the masks, Charlotte? Yeah, I like the Funshine one, but the Icon ones, I'm 
just not a big fan. No, I'm, I'm not a big fan of those. I mean, I like the one that you've had done, to be honest, and that's quite nice, obviously, with the big one and icon on. And that's your own photo, isn't it? Yes, it is. You didn't steal it from me, it's your own yeah, photo. it's my own. Can't believe it. <laughs> just before we wrap up in the shop, just a quick look at the authentic ride parts. Not loads of stuff in here now, of course, with everything um, going on at the moment. It's not really something that a lot of us are probably thinking of purchasing. Um, but you have got all some of these different uh, ride parts, some of your seat belts and some larger items and stuff here as well of course um, looking at some of your other different parts revolution restraint shaft that you've got there uh, a wild mouse mushroom wheel that you've got down at the bottom so you know there's still some bits but not quite as many as there normally is for your ride parts but there we go that's a look inside kiss me quick amusement park sounds here at Pleasure Beach, especially of the ghost train. How many cars have we got in service today? Nine cars in service, as we can see there on the wall. And here in the queue line, of course, to help with social distancing, you've got all the Perspex walls up just down here as well. Are you ready to go and see Cloggy? I've got on my own. How do you think Cloggy's got on during the lockdown? I don't know. Well, we're about to go and find out. I reckon he might be extra mischievous, so we'll have to go and see. Time to see Cloggy. gone nice ride there on the pleasure beach ghost train all effects seem like they were working there as well what a classic here at blackpool pleasure beach even got the fire on just outside here as well here she comes Ooh. did you enjoy that no i don't like going on <laughs> quite reliable effects should we go have a look at the river caves yeah. i'd like to go on the river caves so it's nice to get back on some dark rides there isn't it charlotte yeah. Love getting back on some dark rides today. I missed that a lot yesterday at Alton Towers. Let's carry on down this way and go to the uh, River Caves, Valley of the Kings.
on the River Caves, followed by also a lap round on Derby Racer, one of our Pleasure Beach classics. It's all about the music on that for me, with the organ in the background, just adds to the overall atmosphere of it, I love it. Anyway, if you haven't guessed already from the sign behind me, and the queue line that we're in, and the audio, it's time to go and join Alice for a ride through her wonderland. So let's go on board, let's go. Here we go then, on Alice in Wonderland, the Blackpool Pleasure Beach, the 5th of July. 2020. Continuing then with our dark ride session here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, uh, going on the fourth dark ride of the day, Wallace and Gromit Thrillomatic. It's a riveting ride, you know, Charlotte. I know, a riveting I love it. ride. So let's go on board. It looks very, very quiet around here. Not too sure on the loading uh, situation. I thought maybe we were going to go down this way, but then it's blocked at that end. So I assume we just come down this way. More hand sanitizer stations at the front. Oh, we're queuing up inside here. I've not been up here for years up this top bit. All right, let's go on board. and Gromit Thrillomatic. We made our way now onto Grand Prix. Charlotte's somewhere in a yellow car, so we'll see if we can see her at some point. This is another one of our Pleasure Beach favorites. Oh, she's directly underneath me. I can just see the back of the yellow car, just down there. <laughs> There's Charlotte, I'm coming for you. <laughs> Not too far away. Little look over there at Avalanche as well. Doesn't look like the queue's too big. A lot of the queues are quite low actually today here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Oh, revolution, look at it go, beautiful. Icon looks quite quiet over there now as well. As expected, the big one's still closed today. When we was driving up here, we knew that it was windy and it probably wasn't gonna open. But yeah, as expected, it's closed. We've not seen any testing or anything taking place, but it is very, very windy. When we actually went out for lunch, we realized just how windy it was uh, when we was walking along the promenade to have our lunch. But uh, yeah, you know, it's one of them things, but I look forward to riding it again at some point in the future. Eddie Stobart, everybody. Love that ride, especially when Icon was being built. Yeah, look at that. Very, very low queue. Probably have another ride on Icon soon. Look at that. 
on three trains, that's probably not a lot at all. 10 minutes maybe, maybe not even that. Oh, you did well to get the yellow car there, Charlotte. Oh no, my favourite colour. My favourite colour on the Grand Prix. And we didn't wait long for that. That's yeah. normally quite a busy ride at Pleasure Beach. Didn't wait long at all, did no, we? Not long at all. But uh, anyway, time to continue with some coasters now. We've done some dark rides, we've just done Grand Prix. Up next, we're going on Infusion. No. <laughs> well, we thought we've got to go and give it a go. Why not? Let's go and see uh, what it's like with the masks and how the load in it and all that sort of stuff. So we're going to Infusion, then probably on to Big Dipper next door. Let's go. Ooh, it's a bit windy. As expected, really, all the social distance markers down here in the queue line for Infusion. The same sort of ones they're using on most of the rides. Uh, but yeah, just thought I'd show you those all the way down here. i tell you why, it's a bit windy, it's a bit breezy. No wonder the big one and flying machines are closed. But other than that, it's pretty much a full ride offering today at Pleasure Beach. So here we go, let's have a ride on Infusion. And let's see what they're doing in terms of loading. Looks like with this one, they're just doing the cleaning at the moment. And then it'll be uh, back in operation. Please stand behind the yellow line. Thank you. was absolutely awful I did not enjoy that at all I don't know why we like went on to be honest but yeah in terms of social distancing on there one train today uh, at the moment but they're filling every single row regular cleaning taking place and uh, yeah my shoulders are absolutely killing after that oh <laughs> but yeah it was good to uh, you know get back on it I guess uh, after this long but that's why we thought we may as well do it but yeah it wasn't great was it Charlotte I was really sick in my own mouth oh no you don't want that it's my shoulders where it gets me the most. I don't have to lean forward, I have to lean backwards. I don't have a clue, but that was infusion, yeah. Let's get on a better ride. Let's get on the Big Dipper, shall we? Let's go. Big Dipper, another time for a Woody. Great to get back on the Big Dipper here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. And it was surprisingly smooth actually, wasn't it Charlotte? Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Compared to the Grand National, it was a lot smoother. But yeah, we had a good ride on there. In terms of social distancing and the leaving rows in between people, and they've actually gotten blocked off similar to what they have on the Grand National as well. But the sun has finally come out here in Blackpool. It's a lovely afternoon now. There's just over an hour to go, of course, until the end of the day. Five o'clock, ride closed today. Um, but yeah, it's just nice to be back at uh, Pleasure Beach today in the sunshine for a little bit. As much as we've got some strong winds, of course, meaning the big ones being closed, it's a lovely afternoon now. The sun's shining, so we thought we've got to come for a ride on our favourite roller coaster in the UK. Of course, it's Icon. No mist on today, kind of understandable. I didn't really know what would the case would be with effects and stuff, so that's completely understandable. Um, but yeah, here we go. Let's uh, go for a little ride on Icon here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Hooray! Here they all are getting ready to launch. Oh, oh, oh! Hooray! Love it. What a great atmosphere. The interaction between the ride and the queue line is brilliant here. Love that setup. Let's go on Icon for our second ride of the day. We'll see you when we come off. Here's some more off-ride shots. Gotta love Icon. Great to be back. Oh, great to get 
get back on it for a second time. We've not really done re-rides so much today, have we? What? Yeah, we thought we want to get everything in, show you some updates, much like this, by Charlotte's feet. We've got some more different coloured of these social distance markers. Uh, of course, orange, probably for Nickelodeon land, which we're in now. So we're going to go and do a couple of rides down here in Nickelodeon. Probably do Nickelodeon Street, shall we? Go and have a, a little ride on there. Great wooden coaster here in Nick land. Here we go then, there is a Nickelodeon street there now. Quite a lot of changes here. There was a queue barrier down here before. You can see the holes where that normally is. That's all been taken out because of course this is the entrance and exit to the ride. And look at this, we've got a bit of a half a paint job at the moment. Um, it looks like they'll be doing this at some point. Blimey, this is really orange. It's hitting my eyes walking down here. But uh, fair play though for them painting it up to fit in. All the bars around the top. Blimey, I wasn't expecting this. Same up there in the station as well, they've put all the white uh, boards in up there at the top. But yeah, look at that, it's very bright down here at Nickelodeon Street. Of course, all for that, because the exit's literally here, so they've had to split it because of the path. Obviously, there's no way they could have sent people that way. So there we go, let's kind of have a ride on Nickelodeon Street here in Nickelodeon Land at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Last few rides it'll be now of our day. <laughs> This area is absolutely gorgeous when the sun's out. It's lovely. I mean, you've got SpongeBob Splash Bash over there. Watch out, he's going to squirt you. <laughs> yeah, good ride there on Nickelodeon Street. We've done loads today, haven't we? We've done loads today. Really has been great. In terms of rides, we have got a lot more done here than at Alton Towers. There's also been a lot more open here than at Alton Towers as well, hasn't they? Yeah. Um, you know, two very different parks, two very different operations, but I think we're just going to have got on the Blue Flyer whilst we're here as well, the little junior wooden coaster. In fact, I think we have to go around the barriers this way for this one but uh, it's been really really good uh, it's been great today here at pleasure beach and we'll probably do this head over to icon and do uh, one final ride on there of the day icon shop then now and it's nice to hear the music's blasted out in here of course hand sanitizer at the entrance of the shop and a one-way system in place here as well but loads of stuff to see i mean we can see the icon mass just here as well blackpool pleasure beach you've got the white icon mask just there and of course you've got the black icon mask down at the bottom i'm still not a massive fan of the design of the icon mask but i really like the fun chime ones that they've got I'll tell you what this music is blasting out in here Look at the size of the uh, teddies what they got here as well. The mass the massive aren't they? Huge. I do love the soundtrack. Oh, there I am. I yeah, love the soundtrack. Um, what, of course, was produced by the notable stranger. Done a fantastic job with the soundtrack for Icon. Still a big part of the ride. Absolutely love it. I think we're going to get some new bags, aren't we? Ready for our road trip that's coming up next week. Yeah, well, it's two different types of bags. We've got Icon ones with the white text on and we've got the ones with the gold and the red. So we're gonna have a little look through those and then pick out some bags that we want, get some new bags. Time for this top floor dragster one to be replaced after two years. Yeah, nice to get back in the parks, hear the music, icon. So we're gonna head on there for our last ride of the day. So I'll put in a bit more off-ride footage. Then of course, we'll uh, wrap up today's vlog here from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Bit of a sale going on here as well. There we go. See uh, individual prices for details. So there you go. For example, these are ten pounds. Oh yeah, all oh, is on sale. It's really good. Fantastic. And of course, you got all the flowery merch. I love all this design uh, that they've got. You know, all the, the flowery merchandise for Icon. All the blossom. Fantastic. You picked out our bags. What have we got? 
There we go. We're, both, we're having the same ones, are we? Oh, we'll match. Well, there we go. We've got some new icon bags. And uh, yeah, we'll take them with us on the Europe road trip coming up next week on Theme Park Worldwide. Loads to look forward to. Gosh, she's even getting a mug as well. <laughs> See you after icon. later we're back where we started this morning on the promenade outside Blackpool Pleasure Beach after what has been an absolutely fantastic day and a bit of a bad hair day for me oh, look at it it's so time. long can't wait to have it caught honestly it is coming I promise but uh, what a day we've had at Blackpool Pleasure Beach I think we probably share the same highlight do we have icon? icon getting back on icon has been fantastic but in general we've showed you a lot of the park today and all the different updates what there is really impressed actually yeah, really. with what we've seen I'd say maybe some more hand sanitizer stations in some areas yeah mainly at the exit to attractions. At the entrance, fine, but at the exit, they could do with some more, in my opinion. In terms of the social distancing markers, I'd say there's enough uh, around the park. Obviously, it depends on how people follow them, doesn't it? It needs people. Yeah. If you come to these parks, please, 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 follow for the safety of everyone, follow the social distancing. But it's been a really good day, hasn't it? Of course, the park's closed at five o'clock. We've had three rides on Icon. We've done loads of the other rides. Uh, due to wind, of course, uh, the big one's been closed and also um, the flying machines. But other than that, we've got on loads. Yeah, we've done loads. Worth pointing out, in terms of the only things that are actually scheduled to be closed because of COVID-19 restrictions, I believe, are the Dodgems, impossible. impossible, and the Chinese Puzzle Maze. Yeah, I think they're the only three things. Um, you know, obviously the big one would normally be on, and uh, so will flying machines. But it's been a good day. It's been a bit windy, but yeah. it's not been wet. It's not been raining. So we've, had, we've got quite a good day. Charlotte's got us some merch. We've got some new bags and uh, a mug in there as well. So we've got some new stuff. We're happy. You know, we've had a great day. Flying plastic bag going fast <laughs> in the back. Background. We've had a fantastic day at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for joining me and Charlotte. It's been a great weekend, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been really good. Cool. Really good at Alton Towers. Check out the vlog from yesterday, Pleasure Beach today. And then I'm heading down solo now, down south to go and do uh, some of the parks down there. So there's going to be some more vlogs uh, where it'll be just me. And following on from that, Charlotte will be back in. And then we're heading on our Europe trip. So that'll be coming up in a few vlogs time. Loads of videos of me and Charlotte on this road trip. Yay. It's going to be epic. But no, Pleasure Beach has done a really good job. They should be really proud of what they've done um, in terms of the operation. Um, you know, I think that they've done really well. There's maybe a few places with some more hand sanitizer um, in general. In terms of the amount of rides compared to Alton Towers, oh. we've got a lot more done here and there's a lot more open here than Alton Towers. So make of that what you will. I think, you know, all parks are doing the best they can at the moment, but due to the, the layout of this park and the operation, they have managed to get more rides open. Um, you know, in fact, all the big rides would have been open if it wasn't for the wind today with the big one. So really impressed. Thanks for joining us here on Theme Park Worldwide for Sean and Charlotte's adventures. Many coming up in the future. And that means it's time to cue those credits. See you soon.